Hi folks, how's it going? Uh, this is my Hornby Double Cardiff Castle and my Hornby Class 37 Diesel. Um, the Cardiff Castle is my oldest steam locomotive and the Class 37 is my oldest diesel locomotive. Uh, neither of these have ever been remagnetized, and they both still have the, the original magnets in them. However, I have recently uh, acquired a Ronald Dodd remagnetizer, so um, I'm going to remagnetize both of these locomotives today. Uh, I'll do the Cardiff Castle first, and we'll see how that goes, and then we'll do the Class 37. Right, let's get the Cardiff Castle to the bench. Okay, to remagnetize this, obviously, I'm going to have to get into the motor. So we shall take the tender off, and then we'll take the, the body off this. So I said that uh, this has never been remagnetized. Uh, it's never been remagnetized to my knowledge. Um, it was sent away to Hornby in the 1970s, and it was given a new set of wheels and a service. Uh, they may well have fit in a new magnet then, but this still does run absolutely fine. Uh, occasionally it has what I would call speed fluctuations, um, and that you know that's maybe down to the, the weak magnet. I don't know. Okay, so if I remove the motor like so, uh, I think I can do this without removing the magnet. Um, just push these wires to one side of it. Yeah, should be able to. So I need to determine which way is which on the magnet. Right, so it wants to go that way. Okie dokie. We shall bring in the remagnetizer and then see if we can get this to work. Hold that there like that, and just give this a couple of blasts. One, two, and that should now be remagnetized. So we'll put this back together. There's one thing I really like about these old locomotives. Um, is the, the way that the motor screws to the chassis um, also determines uh, how much pressure the worm gear is on the on the drive gear. Uh, so if you tighten it too tight, you can get a noisy motor because the, the worm gear, so if I tighten this up really tightly, um, it'll work, but it'll be quite noisy. So you just back that off a little bit. Just so it's just holding the motor on and the gears are still engaging, that'll run nice and quiet. Because a lot of noise is the, the pressure of the worm gear on the, the drive gear. Uh, right, okay, let's them in place and we shall stick the body back on. Okay, we'll go and give this a little try on the layout. Okay, so let's put it on. Okay, so that's running uh, nice and quiet and smooth. Um, I wasn't expecting any big difference in performance uh, just because of remagnetizing this locomotive. Um, but we'll see how it performs over its uh, next few running sessions. Right, let's do this thing. Right, okay. Um, I did once try putting on a neodymium in this and it, uh, it didn't work well at all with a neodymium. Um, it just wouldn't go slowly. It would. It basically had two speeds, stop and fast. Um, so that kind of tells me that the bearings are not the best. So this is going to be interesting to see uh, how well this runs with a, a 
full strength magnet. Now obviously it's not going to be as strong um, as a neodymium, but I hope it'll uh, still work. Screw out, and that should come out. So then we should be able to magnetize this like that. Which way are we going? Okay, I think the magnetic field of this is so weak it's hardly turning the uh, the compass. Hmm. Let's let's take the magnet out and see what happens. Yeah, I think it should be that way. There we go. Once, twice. And as you can see, that's a lot stronger. So, we'll put this back together and see if it works. Okay, so it should go this way. <laughs> it's a way the other way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to magnetize this the opposite way um, because although uh, you know you could just turn the magnet round, but you know the the pieces either side are probably magnetized to some degree as well now, so it's probably best to to remagnetize the entire thing. Um, let's just see if I can get this to. So that's pointing north that way, right. So, uh, right, okay, pajumph, pajumph. So hopefully that's now changed the polarity. Uh, yeah, it has. So, put this back together. It should go the correct way. Probably should have given this motor a service when I'm in here, but. I'm really just too anxious to see what the remagnetizer does to this motor. But the fact it was going on the test track there, albeit in the wrong way, um, is a good sign. But it wasn't doing that with a neodymium. Right. So the reason I got the polarity wrong the first time there was simply because the magnet was so weak it wasn't clear using the compass uh, which pole was which. So I took a bit of a guess and of course got it wrong. But uh, quite a good demonstration of uh, how the remagnetizer works and how simple it is. That, you know, if you do get the polarity wrong, stick it in the other way around, remagnetize, and that's it fixed. Right, let's uh, get this body on. There we go. Let's go and see how this runs. Okay, turn on the power. So that's quite interesting, it's a lot louder with the remagnetized magnet. Um, hmm. Okay, so as you can see there, that's running uh, an awful lot quieter and smoother now. Uh, in fact, it's probably the quietest it's ever, ever been. Um, the problem, as I suspected, was the armature, uh, the bearings on the armature, actually. Uh, you know, these little plastic bearings, they do get worn and they become very loose, so there's an awful lot of play uh, in the armature, so it starts to vibrate quite a lot. Uh, and it was actually, the worms were actually bouncing up and down on top of the, uh, the gears on the axles. So I managed to get a replacement on eBay and fitted it, and that has made a huge difference. Uh, I probably should have done this a long time ago, actually. 
But I think I got away with it with the ve with the uh, very weak magnet. It uh, wasn't pulling the armature one way or the other. But as soon as you put the stronger magnet in, or remagnetize it, sorry, um, it started to cause a problem. And that would be why when I fitted a neodymium in this, that it didn't run at all. It just, you know, locked the armature in a, a bad position. But it's now running really, really nicely. So that's my Cardiff Castle and my Class 37 remagnetized. Um, I've actually just started doing my Flying Scotsman, but I'll show you the state that's in. So this is my Flying Scotsman. Um, I did remagnetize it, but I was not happy with the way it was running at all. I reckon the axles were all gunked up because it just really was running badly. So I decided to strip it down um, so I could get the wheels out and get the axles all cleaned up. But in the process, the uh, the plastic bushes for the wheels just fell apart when I took the wheels off. Um, so I've ordered replacements, so once they come, we can get this reassembled. So I may well do a Flying Scotsman reassembly video. Right, catch us later folks.